welcome back to Renek Snack. A lot. It's too short to be serious. I know I look awkward here because usually I'm in the center, but I found a way to kind of block out the sun because sometimes the sun's just beaming at an angle that just makes it weird and makes the video quality down. So we're blocking the sun out a little bit. But anyways, not all Dairy Queens have breakfast. That's one point for y'all to know. Then, not all Dairy Queens have the same items. So some will have an item, some won't. I had this with when they did three different milkshakes with the chocolate chips in them, like over a year ago in Franklin. And nobody else had them. And then they did a mint one, and then I think they released the other two over the summer. So I had those reviews like done in February, and we didn't get to see them roll out everywhere else until March and then June. So I thought that was interesting. Um, but I think it's the same case with this. If your Dairy Queen has breakfast, there's no guarantee that they're going to have this breakfast sandwich. The meat lover sandwich. I went to Windsor because it's more on the way to my work. Uh, to my job I went there to get this before work to eat for breakfast nope did not I, I didn't ask them I probably should have but it was not on the menu so I didn't bother I just went about my day now what's on the meat lover sandwich it's bacon sausage egg and cheese and a really nice bun I don't know if they use these for their burgers or not but if they don't, they should. I can't remember. I mean, I don't eat their burgers enough. They haven't had anything uh, burger-wise for me to review in a long time. So, yeah. Please go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, and share this video. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack. Now, you can't see the sausage. It's kind of tiny. So, bear with me on that. But... Man, I gotta lose some weight. Like... I know I'm eating junk food and all that, but I don't know. It's I feel like I've been eating fine. Like I I don't eat a whole bunch of this stuff, and then like I eat healthy. So like outside of this, so I just don't understand it. But anyways, we're gonna try some of this sandwich, and I'm gonna scrap the rest of the bun and eat some of the insides. But yeah, I mean it looks good. It looks good. So here we go. Hmm. Well, the bun has beautiful presentation on the outside, but it's not special on the inside. You can see it's kind of cheap. Hmm. As for the contents, it's okay. Nothing about this is really all that premium great. Like, it's pretty dense. If you're super hungry for breakfast, this is a good option. But, I don't know, the egg's cold. The bacon and the sausage taste a little bit funny. But, it's an okay sandwich. I can you can devour this easily if you wanted to. Um, I'd probably say it's like a, a six and a half. I think it's okay. But I wouldn't tell you not to get it. But I wouldn't say, wow, you got to get this either. You know what I mean? So, yeah, six and a half. Um, I would have given it a seven. Like, seven's like standard of good for me. Um, I don't know. The, the ingredients kind of have a little bit of off-putting taste. It's not quite as good as if you went to McDonald's or Hardee's and got something of the same caliber, you know? Especially with this bun, too. So, six and a half works for me. Anyways, that's my review. Pretty brief, right? And, uh, yeah, it's got savory, cheesy, eggy flavor. Nothing special, but if you're hungry, you're hungry. And you can get Blizzard, too. So, that's a plus side. That's a plus side. Anyways, that's my review. I'm sticking to it, and I will see y'all around.